Hey guys, welcome to Till Vacuum Do Us Part and welcome to my home cleaning house tips. I've been doing lots of research for you guys. So some of these are brand new that I'm testing out with you guys and others I've been using for months and years. So I'm really excited to share them with you. If you're new here, go ahead and click that red subscribe button down below and we're gonna jump straight into today's video. Okay, so the first place we're gonna start is here in our master bathroom. So when we first moved in, I could take showers in here all day long and the mirror would never fog, but recently it started doing it again and I actually learned a hack that's supposed to stop that. So we're gonna head into the bathroom and I'm gonna do half the beer. I'm gonna let it get steamy and we're gonna see if it works. Supposedly, you just squeeze this out and rub it all on the mirrors, so that's what I'm gonna do first. To the ocean, I didn't wanna be tied down to nothing. But since I met you, I didn't know it. That underneath it all, you started something. Okay, so now that I have shaving cream on that side, you're gonna take a polishing cloth, different people make them, you can buy them different places, and you're gonna buff it in. The reason why I left this side unfinished is I actually wanna test it to see if it works. So I'm gonna buff this in, and then we're gonna make it stevie in here, and we're gonna see if there is a difference. I'm echoing, sorry, I'm in the bathroom with the door shut, but I let it get steamy in here. And I'm gonna call this one a fell. You guys can see it <laughs> with your own eyes. I feel like the side that I put um, the shaving cream on is almost foggier than the side without it. I don't know if there's like a different brand you can use. From what I could tell, they just said shaving cream. Um, I didn't mean for the first hack to be a fell, but if you guys are wondering, and just in case you saw this, on TikTok or whatever, from my experience, if I did everything correctly, it did not work. Okay, so I'm a little bummed about that first hack. I hated that it was a fail, but this is real life and this is why I love testing out things for you guys so you know if it's worth spending your time doing or not. Now the next one I know works because I have been doing it for years. Um, you can do this with any soap in your house um, and foaming soap that is. So sometimes you buy a soap because you love the bottle, or I do, <laughs> um, but it's not necessarily the smell or what's in it. You just like how it looks sitting out in your bathroom or your kitchen or wherever it might be, you can actually refill those bottles that have like foaming hand soap so you don't have to keep buying them. So say you find a really cute bottle from Bath and Body Works, which I did, it was a black hand soap, I love it. I ran out, but I don't wanna buy the product again. I wasn't like super in love with the soap. So I'm gonna show you how you can refill those bottles and reuse them. To do this, you can use any soap you like. If it's just like a dish soap, if you have a favorite Dollar Tree one or Dollar General, affordable, nice, whatever, you can use any soap you want, even body wash, and you're just gonna fill the bottom of the bottle of the foaming hand soap that you're gonna use just about an inch, and then you're gonna fill up the rest with water and then you're gonna shake it really well. It may take a few pumps to get it going, but after that, it's amazing. You can pick whatever scent you like, just get a cute foaming bottle that you like and then you can just keep refilling it. Now we're out of the bathroom and we're heading into the kitchen. Now I will say this next cleaning home hack you can do with any sink in your house, but I feel like most of the time kitchen sinks get the most smelly. So if you're needing to like deodorize any of your sinks, I'm gonna show you how to do it now. Gonna 
Okay, so how you're gonna use all those products is basically you're gonna take one cup of the baking soda and then two cups of hot vinegar. So I think you can do this without the hot vinegar, but I can see how that would be even more helpful if you need that. But if you don't wanna heat it, you don't. And then you let that set for about an hour and then come back later and just run some hot water and it is clean. So let's go ahead and get these drains deodorized. While that's settling, this is the part where we just wait an hour, let it do its thing, and then we'll run really hot water to let it rinse out. So let's let that work, but we're gonna move on to the next cleaning home hack. And for me, I could not do this video without my Hoover Clean Slate. It's right here behind me. I use this every single week in my house. If you have kids, pets, husband, boyfriends, basically if you live in your house and there are messes that are made, this tool is gonna make your life so much easier. So I do wanna thank Hoover for sponsoring this part of today's video. So for me, there are some features on the Clean Slate that just stand out to me. When I saw this product being advertised, I immediately wrote Hoover and asked them to send me one so I could test it out. I've tested it out for you guys before, but I'm showing you again. I love that it has this big nozzle and the small one. So if you're doing like a large sectional, you don't want a tiny little nozzle, but you also need like small ones to get in between cracks and smaller areas and you can use this anywhere. I use it on my sectional and furniture. I use it on our rugs, especially when we have accidents from our pets. That's just gonna happen if you're a pet owner. And another area you might not be thinking of is for your car. So like your floor mats or if you have cloth interior, it's really helpful to have that to clean. You can also do it for pillows and even like your mattress or your mattress cover. I feel like these are all places that you can clean with the clean slate. So it's so helpful. It's not just like gonna clean one area, it can clean several. And I just wanted to show you real fast how you can use it. So you'll just take out the little container and it has it if you're gonna be doing a small load or a large load. So that's super nice. Sometimes you have to fill the whole thing up and add a product and you just need it for like a small area. So I love that it has both options. You put in the cleaner and then you press start. And right here, I'm gonna show you how to use the nozzle. It is so satisfying to do. Like it is so easy. You can see right there, it dries up so quickly and it's just really easy to use. And you just feel so prepared. Like if an accident or a spill happens in the house, you just know you have a tool to get it clean. So I love having this. If you guys are in the market for something like this, I'm gonna leave the link down below in my description box and you can use Till Vacuum Do Us Part 10 for 10% off. And thanks again to Hoover for sponsoring today's video. Okay, so next up, we're gonna talk about how to clean the soles of your tennis shoes. Now, this is another one I haven't tried out before, but I'm really interested to see if it works. So let me show you the products that you're gonna need. I think you're perfect on a Saturday night. I was doing just fine. I was out on my own, didn't want nobody else. Then I opened my So all I'm gonna do to clean the soles of the shoes is take this product, dump it onto any cloth, paper towel, whatever you want to use. And then supposedly if you just rub on it, it makes them super clean and white. So let's see. really hard to tell on camera because it's white but if you look right here at the front it is cleaning it so well so i've wiped down this side and you can see i've stopped right here so it actually is working Okay, so I just finished wiping it down. I did take the damp part and just wipe down the rest of this um, just because you can see right there how dusty it is. I know on camera it's so hard to tell, but if you look at those soles, you can tell the difference it made. 
they look so much better. So I'm gonna finish out his other shoe and then I'm gonna test it on mine as well. Okay, so I finished up his and then I did one of mine and you can tell how much wider it is over here. So I'm definitely gonna call this one a win. You may already have this product in your cabinets. If you don't, it's a good one to have. I mean, it's good to clean your shoes, but it's also really good for your face as a toner. So it's kind of a two for one. Um, my daughter loves this and she got me hooked on it. So this is just a good product to have. I'll link it down below in my description box for you. So by now it's been over an hour, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn on this hot water and let all this stuff rinse out. Okay, so now that this thing's clean, we're gonna kind of go back to the shoes again. I've shared this hack before in many videos ago, and it's just so easy and so affordable. I wanted to share it again for anybody here that's new. Um, this one's for smelly shoes. So if you have stinky shoes or your kids, especially like sports shoes, Savannah's dance shoes, <laughs> I do this all the time. Um, I have a little hack for you guys for this one. So what's super nice about this one is you only need two products. They're super affordable. You probably already have them in your house. What you're gonna do is take your rubbing alcohol and just put it into a spray bottle and then spray your shoes and it just like eats up the odor. I keep this like by our back door in a basket. So anytime we come in, I can just spray the inside of our shoes as soon as we take them off. Especially during summer, I just feel like your feet sweat more even like sandals and stuff or ours do. And like I mentioned, like kid shoes, this is so nice for and you probably have these two items. So definitely go grab these, pour it in there, use it, and let me know what you think. So now that we have our shoes smelling good, now let's talk about our homes smelling good. I know anytime I show like a wall plug-in um, scent of any kind, people lose it. They want their essential oils. They want things that are um, just less chemicals. So what if I told you, you could take those wall plug-ins and refill them with essential oils or just refill them with anything you like just to save money. That's what we're gonna do now. <laughs> I will say this is the first time I'm doing it. So we're trying this hack out together, but I'm actually really excited about it because most wall plugins do give me headaches because of the chemicals in them but I do love my essential oils so let's try this hack out together and see if it works Okay, so now that you know what you need, which is just an air plug-in, preferably empty, mine still has stuff in it, but I'm gonna dump it out and clean it. Um, essential oils, so get whatever um, one you like. There's lavender if you're gonna put it in a bedroom. I'm gonna do lemon, because I like the clean smell, and I normally have this in my laundry room, and then a few little Q-tips. So I'm really excited to try this one out. I hope it works, because I've always wondered why there weren't wall plug-ins for essential oils, so let's try it. Now it is kind of hard to get this cap off, so just be careful. Um, you can use pliers or whatever you need to. I'm using like a butter knife, but don't cut yourself, but be careful just getting that little topper off. Um, once you come off, it kind of like pops off real easy and then you can start taking the pieces apart and washing them. I 
I know I'm touching all of this product right now and it's on my fingertips. I don't think I show you, but I washed my hands really well. So if you still have product in yours, just be super careful. Don't touch your face, your eyes, your mouth. Just wash your hands and get all of that stuff off your fingertips. Now you're gonna go ahead and cut one end off of the Q-tip on both sides. I don't know why you do this. It may make sense to some of you. Once again, this is just a hack I found on Pinterest and so I think it just helps with the diffusing. I don't know why you can't leave it on there, but they cut theirs off so I'm cutting mine off. <laughs> Now it did say to do about 20 to 30 drops. I don't think I did that full amount. I wasn't wanting to waste a ton of essential oil, but I will say as the days go on since I filmed this, that fragrance or um, you know essential oil smell isn't as strong. So if you really want it to smell, I would at least do 30 drops if not more um, because you are gonna dilute it with water. So if you really wanna smell it, I suggest doing a little bit more than I did. So that one was not hard to do. So basically you put in about 20 to 30 drops of whatever essential oil you're wanting to use. I will say when I was looking at hacks, some people used like laundry softener and stuff like that, but I was definitely going for the more natural approach. So I'm curious to see how well that lasts, how well you can smell it. Um, but so far I'm loving it and my laundry room already smells better and it actually smells cleaner. But speaking of the laundry room, we're gonna actually head that way for our next cleaning home hack. Okay guys, we're actually gonna talk about um, vinegar again. If you don't have this stuff in your house, grab it. You can use it for so many different things and it's so affordable. So buy big ones, buy small ones, whatever, just pick some up. Um, so now we're gonna use it as a laundry softener. So I did this for a lot of years. It's cheap, it's affordable, it works really well, especially for your towels. And what's amazing about it, it's like a two for one. Anytime I'm using this as my laundry softener, my washer is so clean, like spotless. So if you're wanting to get your washer clean, just switch over your laundry softener for a little while and you can thank me later because you're gonna be amazed at how well it works. So you're gonna use it exactly like you would laundry softener. So like mine goes right here and you can see this gets super dirty, it gets build up. All of that will be spotless after a few washes. Um, and my lash washer, I would put it right here in the center and it used to be so dirty, but when I would do this, <laughs> it would get it so clean. So just switch over for a while and after a little while, you're gonna open up your washer and not only are your like laundry softener parts gonna be cleaner, but even like the bowl and the inside is gonna get cleaner all by just doing your laundry with this stuff. next little cleaning hack is for candles. Do you ever buy a candle and then you get this little tunnel with it because you have to blow it out sooner than you wanted to? So like typically when you buy a candle, you have to let it run for six hours. So I try to like light it knowing I'm gonna be here for a while and then something comes up and we have to leave. And when I blow it out, you start to get this tunnel. And once you start that, then it only burns down to that point and you waste all of your nice candles. So recently I learned a hack for it, so let me show it to you. Here's what you're gonna need. Okay, this is another super affordable one. You already have these products in your house. Um, it's the candle 
And then you're gonna need some foil and then a lighter. Just a quick little tip, if you don't have one of these yet, I'm gonna link it down below, but it's from Amazon and it lights your candles so well and you just charge it. But since I've got it, I only charged it the initial time and it lasts so long and it lights it so easy. So what you're gonna do is go ahead and light your candle and then you're gonna wrap this around it and it's gonna cause all of it to melt so it's back one level again. And then next time you burn your candle, you're burning the whole thing instead of just a small tunnel all the way down it. So to do this one, you're gonna go ahead and light it and then wrap foil around it. I've seen several girls that do this on Instagram, but I'm not gonna lie, I did this over two days. I kept testing and I could not get it to work. I left a little hole, I left a big hole, I let it burn for hours. Most people said like 20 minutes. So for me, this is a fell. It's kind of funny. I started with a fell, I ended with a fell. I did not mean to do that, but that's live here. I think this one should work. It just didn't for me as well as the very first one. I've seen girls use it and um, test it out and it works. So if you know what I did wrong on either one of them, let me know down below in the comments section because I can try it again. But with this candle, like I said, I did it for two days and could not figure it out. I want to remember all that happened to us. Okay guys, we are finished. Let me know what you guys thought about today's video. Let me know your favorite cleaning home hack that we did today. You can even leave suggestions down there. If you have a great home hack for me, let me know about it and I'll try it in one of my future videos. And I do wanna thank Hoover again for sponsoring this video. I'm gonna have their link down below in my description box, so don't forget to check that out. I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I will see you in the next one. Bye. See you next time, next time, next time. So I know I'll see you next time.